Hey, what's up, Diecast fans? Joel Twenty Studios here today, bringing you another Diecast haul on these models that I've acquired. Now, before I go through each of these models, I'm just gonna say thank you for all your support for helping me hit 400 subscribers. But I especially want to give a shout out to Zelda Diecast Racing. He became the 400th subscriber to subscribe to my channel, thus making me hit 400 subscribers. So thanks, thank you, man. I just wanted to give you a shout out. This diecast haul is for you. So yeah. So I'm just gonna go through each and every one of these models that I've acquired. Two of them I acquired online, it got delivered today, and the others I bought from stores. So I'm just gonna go through the first row. First we have from two models from Matchbox, the 2019 Subaru Forester and the 1984 Toyota MR2. Both of these I picked up at Walmart. Very, was a very nice find. Next is the the Punch Buggy Volkswagen T1 van from Jada Toys. This one I picked up at Hobby Lobby. These ones are, are the two models that I got from eBay from online. Both from Kyosho. The Alfa Romeo, Romeo Brera and the Fiat Coupe. Both of which are, I bought these from a seller who is in Japan. Really unique, just like the other models. They have different variations. They have one in red and one in black as well. And then here you got the list of different Alfa Romeos that they made as die cast vehicles. I'll be looking through them. And then here's the Fiat Coupe in blue. And they also got one in yellow and red. And then here are the other Fiats that they made in their collection. And then in this row, got the the Aston Martin V12 Vanquish from Johnny Lightning, which was from a 007 film. Now if you look here, it says that Die Another Day is the first James Bond movie to feature an Aston Martin as the primary Bond car since The Living Daylights back in 1987. Just an interesting fact. And then also from Johnny Lightning, I found was the 1950 Mercury Woody Wagon. It looked old school and it looked pretty unique for a race car, for a racing van technically, station wagon I mean. So I just decided to pick it up. And then lastly I have here is the 1955 Chevrolet 210 Townsman. Now, from the looks of this van, it kind of looks like a, a Chevy Nomad. That's what it reminds me of. Here's the back of the packaging. One of them being the 1989 Ford LTD Crown Victoria Wagon, which I have. I did a previous review, review on it. Yeah. Uh, all the models they have for this on the back. Interesting. So yeah, all these are very cool models. So yeah, that'll do it for this diecast haul video. And once again, thank you for 400 subscribers. And once again, and big thanks to and shout out to De Zelda Diecast Racing for helping me hit 400 subscribers. So and yeah, until then, I'm Joel 20 Studios, and I'll see you guys in another diecast haul or another quick review. Peace.